Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I wanted to talk to you guys about the resist penalties you get in Abyss. You know, you sometimes see minus 50% thermal resist, minus 70% thermal resist. And how do you actually calculate this? Because it was not as simple as a case of just, you know, taking the resist value and minusing 70% of it, or the, it's a reduction of 70%. Because if we look here in PIFA, we can see here that if we add a abyssal weather and a plasma firestorm for example minus 70 percent thermal and you see here we have 74.3 percent on this gear fit right here and that's obviously not a minus 70 percent of the actual resist and i was very confused like how do you calculate this because it doesn't make any sense to me because if we do something like this for example let's say we were in a electrical site see so, you now now we have zero percent electric it's like i don't understand how this works does it take just a flat 70 percent off no it doesn't because this became 50 percent how does it work well I, I took a look of googling but i managed to find out how this works so simply it is that you take the like you can see that you see how like uh, in this resist bar there's like a colored bar like is the 74 percent resist and then there's a black bar which is like the opposite and basically what it does is when you take this like for example minus 70 percent it increases the black portion by 70 percent so say we do like this okay 74.3 0.3 the black portion is then 100 minus this because you can think of it as like the whatever is left after you take away the 74 percent so it's taking this 25.7 which is this like this black bar here on the resist and it's increasing this by 70 percent so if we increase this by 70 percent we just multiply by 1.7 because 7 increases this by 70 percent so then we get that is 43.69 so basically it increases this black bar to 43.69 from 25.7 and if we want to calculate then the resist the final resist will take then uh, 100 minus this and look what we get we get what we got before if we go in abyssal weather plasma fire storm 3 we get what we got here so i mean almost the same as it's rounding it up so that's how it is basically you take the inverted resist you could say so instead of 60 like say we had 40 percent here we would take instead 60 percent and then mo and then increase that 60 percent uh, by 70 percent or if it was with minus 50 percent we would increase that 60 percent like the inverted of this 40 right here so 60 percent multiply that by 50 percent so 1.5 that's how it works that's simply how it works and there are actually some interesting conclusions you can get here some very interesting conclusions you can get here so for example when we go into the abyss you see we have for example Ephialtes lancer you know this cruiser right here this usually takes quite a long time to do it's a ship the wave where you can open get like a spam of these ships and it's like it takes quite a long time to do an interesting thing to note is that uh, you know how you have like minus 50 even minus 30 percent of certain resist type it won't be any difference between all the different ty damage types you can have minus 70 percent this thing is going to be exactly as tanky as in minus 50 percent or minus 30 percent because what is happening here is that you're taking then this like then the inverse of 10 uh, 10 percent then it'll be 90 multiply this by say 1.5 it'll be more than 100 so we'll have zero percent resist here uh, or if you're taking uh, 90 times 1.7, then it'll be 150. Also, one point will be more, less than zero. If we take uh, zero point, uh, we'll take uh, 90 minus, go, multiply by 1.3. It'll still have more than 100, so it'll be still zero percent. So it's just an interesting thing you'll find here that it, regardless of, for example, the weather effect, if minus 30, minus 50, minus 70, Ephialtes will be just as tanky, regardless of them. Not in the dark side, obviously, but. Yeah, otherwise it will be just as tanky whichever kind of weather effect you have so you don't have to worry too much about oh it's minus 50 percent or minus 30 percent it's going to take so long and it'll take just as long as minus 70 percent here now i have actually made a spreadsheet if you guys want to have this i'll share with you guys but an easy way to just calculate resist so you can do this obviously with pifa but i feel like it's not that easy when you want to assimilate the npcs so i've got this spreadsheet right here and this is then able to then use this to calculate the resists depending on what kind of NPC you've got. So say we have a bit more complex ones such as the uh, the Elite Lucifer Cinnabar. This has got a bit more complex resist right here. So say we want to calculate the shield, okay? So it's got 70, 68, 63. So we just put the resist right here. 70, 68, 63 and then 60 here 
Okay, and now we put a 1 here in gamma. Say we're doing gamma. Or maybe we want to do exotics. So we'll just put a 0 here. Or we'll just delete this. So we put a 1 in gamma to just show uh, to in exotic to show that we're using doing exotic right here. Okay. Now we see here, okay, the resist of this ship will then in a minus 50%, it will be 44.5% resist. And in a minus 70%, it'll have 37.1 resist. So this is quite useful. I find this very handy to use. And here, just some like, calculations I was doing to help me figure out the formulas to do these in Excel sheets. And here's some notes I made of, like if you compare augmented hammerheads to Valkyrie 2s, the Valkyrie 2s have 68% of the DPS of augmented hammerheads. Some little extra notes I was doing there just to calculate which drone would be better to do which type of NPC. Uh, some also interesting things you can find here is that say we have uh i think it's 40 percent no if we go with like 33 percent omni resistance so we have 33 percent omni resistance this means that you see here when we got 33 percent omni resistance then just about here we have almost exactly zero on the minus 50 percent so this is quite an interesting thing that you can think of it as like if you have a npc that has 33 percent or less resist and then it won't be any faster in the minus 50% or the minus 70% if you're doing exclusively this damage type. Uh, another interesting thing is that if we go into, for example, Charybdis Tyrannos, Charybdis, no, a Drifter, I think it's called Drifter Command Battleship. That's at least the one in T6. So it's got 50% Omni Resist. 50, 50, 50. Now, say we were doing Gamma, for example. Okay, and we want to see here, okay, we have these resists. These are the new resists after the effect. And you can actually find some interesting things if we were to use, for example, a Gila. So say we're using a Gila, and you know how the Gila, for example, has a bonus to its uh, kinetic and thermal missiles, and it has 10% bonus to them. 10% bonus. With max skills, you will have plus 50% uh, damage. So you'll have 50% more damage. Okay. We'll have 50% more damage. So this means that if we were to use, for example, explosive resistance, we won't have that 50% damage bonus. So if we go here, use the explosive missiles. Where are they? Nova Fury. You see, we do less damage with the Nova missiles. However, even though they do less damage, we'll find that in the exot in the gamma sites it will be actually a bit quicker for us to use or more smarter for us to use in this particular spawn to use the explosive missiles because if you see here so this means that in 20 in uh, in minus 50 percent uh Caribbean's tyrannus will then have 25 percent explosive resist so effectively if say we're doing 100 damage with explosive missiles then we'll do 25 percent is that is it going to be knocked off then we'll do 75 damage in uh with explosive missiles and then if we then got 100 damage with explosive missiles and we've got level 5 Kaldari cruiser, then we'll have 150 uh, damage with thermal or, uh, or kinetic missiles because it'll be a 50% increase. So then we'll have 150 damage then. And here we're going to have then a 50% cut of our damage. So we'll then divide it by 2 basically. So then we're doing the same damage in a 50% as a, like in a minus 50% one here. We're doing the same damage with thermal and kinetic as we would do with explosive. But then if we're going to minus 70%, that's where it gets interesting. So then we can see here, 50% is being knocked off right here. So then we can say we just multiply by this. We'll do 85 damage here with the explosive missiles. But then we'll still be doing 75 damage with the thermal and kinetic missiles because that resistance is not changed. So we'll actually be doing more damage if in a minus 70 percent with explosive missiles so that's actually something that's quite interesting it will not be the case however for for example Ephialtes cruisers the Ephialtes guys they have very low resistances that it won't really matter if you've got minus this minus that on the explosive resist you're going to be doing quite a bit more damage naturally with the thermal and uh, kinetic missiles and they've got so low resistances they won't matter so if you're facing Ephialtes, for example you'll want to switch to thermal or kinetic it'll be just overall better but this is some interesting things you can find with these resistances right here that even using the optimal missile types won't always be better for you in, for example, these waves like Kerbis Tyrannus, which is actually a wave that takes quite a long time in a gamma sites. This is something that I never really thought much about before because I always thought that using the optimal missile type would be a lot better uh, for irregardless of the resist type. But it actually can sometimes be better to go what the resist is doing. 
But that's something that I think is very useful with the spreadsheet right here. You can just type in the resist types and find out it. You can even go in, for example, Marshall Dispar Root Troop. Let's see here, thirty percent resistances across the board. So an interesting thing here, you can see is okay, zero percent resistances then in both minus fifty percent and minus seventy percent here. So the speed of the Marshall Root will be exactly the same, irregardless of what weather to effect. Okay. And we can also see that to some degree, it will be good to use explosive damage if it is like not 70% of what the other damage types are. So it can be quite interesting. And I think it's very fun, especially useful for uh, my, I've been trying to figure out recently how to do T6 gammas in Aguila so that I can do them in a decent amount of time. And it has been quite useful actually to go through this spreadsheet right here to sort of calculate what is the best damage type to deal i see a lot of people saying oh use this use this or use that but i feel like this is a lot more interesting to just see for yourself that the numbers actually add up that it is actually better to use this type of missile type and this type of you know effect you can also see an electric abyss as well you know say we're in electric abyss it'll be the same thing if we just put it now i'll be with kerbis tyrannus it's exactly the same thing so we're all one here so it would actually be better to use em missiles at the gila even though it's not getting any bonus to em missiles in the electric abyss so these kind of interesting things you find just by doing these kind of uh, calculations right here. So if you guys are interested of getting this spreadsheet, it's very simple. Uh, I'll, I'll share it. And it's just, I find the thinking about the weather effects can actually affect a lot how quick you do these rooms. It's uh, something I've not really thought about so much before. And I also thought that calculating the new resistances was quite complicated until I just figured out that it was just the... It's just the inverse uh, resist type, and you just multiply it by whatever percentage weather effect you have. So hope you guys learned something new. Hope this made the weather effect resistance penalties a bit clearer for you. Hope it makes your fitting of ships a bit easier. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.